Hello again, Russell Broadbent, member for Monash. Today I want to talk to you about a serious issue unfolding in Australia, and that's the alarming number of excess deaths we're seeing across the nation. The Australian Bureau of Statistics reports that in 2022 there were over 190,000 deaths in Australia. That's almost 20,000 more deaths than expected and represents an excess death rate of 12%. Now, some may well say that's due to COVID, but the Actuaries Institute in Australia reports that only 50%, that's 10,000 of these deaths, were from COVID. This begs the question, what caused the other 10,000 deaths? The excess death rate continues into 2023. The first three months show a similar trend of excess deaths around the country with Victoria at 12% and our neighbours Tasmania at a staggering 17%. Overall, the excess death rate for Australia has risen from minus 3 in 2020 up to 17% in 2023. So what's going on? Think of all the things the government did to keep people safe during the pandemic, the lockdowns, social distancing, the masking, the mandated vaccinations. One thing is clear, they're not working. And with excess death rates like this continuing into 2023, the health response has been a disaster. Remember the daily media updates we had during the pandemic? Even a single death was mourned? Yet in the first three months of this year, there were 2,300 more deaths than expected. And yet not a peep from the Albanese government or the media. Did you know that on the 24th of March this year, the Australian Senate voted on whether there was a need to further inquiry and scrutiny as the reasons for Australia's excess deaths and the Albanese government's voted against the inquiry? Why didn't Labor support the motion? Why isn't the media reporting on it? Australia deserves answers. We need a thorough inquiry into this unfolding disaster and a royal commission into the nation's pandemic response. That's justice as I see it. Authorised by Russell Broadbent, Liberal Party, Warrigal.